Welcome to a Yakuza 0 100% trophy guide video. In this video we're going to talk about ultimate battles 1 to 6. So essentially the ultimate battles are a gauntlet of bosses slash, well yeah, the other bosses, some of them have jobber enemies with them, nothing major though. Um, but the gauntlet itself is quite tricky if you're not used to doing a gauntlet against bosses. So make use of finishing moves as often as you can. In terms of beast mode, beast mode is ruthless in these, uh, as long as you've got heat with you. So be sure to keep your heat high. Don't use too many finishes. I end up doing that in this one, uh, which I would say is a mistake. Just keep pounding jobber enemies. And uh, yeah, if you've got, if you got the guy under control, then you can use heat actions. But if you're sort of struggling to keep him under control, don't use heat actions. Just use the standard combo square square triangle because the heat actually stops you from getting knocked down like the hits he's doing on me here even though they're doing a fair amount of damage it would have uh, it would have knocked me down if I didn't have the heat but yeah this this boss is a bit of a pain I just like to get rid of him as quickly as possible um, probably not the best showcase of skill but he is an awkward one um, but yeah so what we're gonna do is in the Description we've got timestamps of you know one, two, three, four, five, six uh, for each separate ultimate battle. So if you're struggling on any particular one, let me know in the comments, I'll try and help you out. But you can just watch whichever specific one you need. Uh, see what I do generally, it's beast style with Kiryu and breaker style with Majima for the most part. Uh, but yeah, beast style is just ruthless. So if you use it with uh, like weapons hit three times generally the weapons have four health so four hits basically uh, if it's a sofa or a chair or something like that so one two three knocks him down pull off the finisher grab the chairs see most people uh, will probably try and fight it tactically and you just wear yourself down doing that to be honest like if you've done it, if you're used to like no damaging and stuff, it's easy enough. But for me, just picking up weapons and doing them in was the uh, the better option. I'm not sure what was going on there. Doing some sort of power up Goku style. Ah yes. Yeah, so when he goes into heat mode, uh, he won't get knocked down generally. So you'll still do damage, but you won't knock him down. So it's a dangerous tactic to go beast against him. Watch out for that in this particular zone. Uh, you might be better off with uh, Brawler there or Rush. Just dive in and out. Only when he goes into heat mode though. Uh, ah, I didn't cut out the loading, I apologise. I tried to do it for most of them, but you know I've done hundreds of videos here. and It's it's a long process, so Kuze is the next enemy. Just going to take a swig of beer real quick. Ah, lovely. Right, so Kuze, you can just sort of dodge, dodge away from him, brawler if you want. Just circle around him, get away from him, grab a weapon, put some kettle in his face, boom, pour it on him. Lovely. He ain't getting away from that. That is ruthless. That is absolutely ruthless, and Kuze is dead. That is not really, but. He just never ends, Kuze. He's like one of the worst characters. He just, <laughs> he just keeps coming back for more. Crazy. He's got some cool moves, though. Proper boxing style. But yeah, just take note of how many like things he does in his moves. And then just grab him, twat him, stomp him on the floor, use the weapons. Basically, you want to avoid... Oh, hello. <laughs> What's this? Oh, and the car door. Oh, no. Kicked in the head. That was brutal, man. Yeah, just keep going like that. I mean, it's not the best tactic in the world, but you're not going to get hit as much as long as you know what he's doing. And he'll bait you in by dropping his hands, then he'll do something crazy. You've also got the fake tag drop as well. Just keep in mind that. Quite a useful move sometimes. Doesn't do anywhere near as much damage as Kiwami 1 does, but yeah. I think you could probably get a few hits on him as well if you grab him through his moves. I don't know if beast mode would be any good against him, but you'd probably take a lot of damage. 
I would assume. And at this point, I was quite low to start off with, so I was thinking I better just play it safe. Kick, kick, kick. Run, run, run. Slap, slap, slap with the bin. That finishing move's actually really good. Takes off loads of damage with the bin. But yeah, he's going to come at you with various combos. Just try and distance it the best you can. If you fail, you know, he's going to get some good hits on you. If not, then you're going to get some good hits on him. So make sure you dodge that first hit. Especially because he's going to do some serious damage. Lovely. Keep him on the ground. Big punch to the face. Lovely. Not too much damage, but we'll take it. But that's the tactic for Kuze. I don't think there's much more to say about it. But we'll see what happens. Something might surprise us. Oh, he's dodged it. Counter attack as well. Boom to the face. Yeah, knocking him over as well is just a really simple way of uh, getting yourself some breathing room with the grab. I mean, if he goes into heat mode, he'll probably uh, not be able to be grabbed, most likely. But yeah, you've got a multitude of weapons here. Absolute multitude. There, uh, see, he started reversing it now, so that might not work anymore. So you might just want to punch in that circumstance. Trade in with him there. That was silly. I don't know why I'm doing this. <laughs> Getting bored of the fight. What's he doing? Just charging in like a madman. Oh, got him with the claw hand. The bear claw hand. The X triangle. Or the, uh, sorry, the XY on Xbox. Keep confusing the controllers because they always switch between them consoles, so it's, uh, it's a bit confusing sometimes. Not too bad though. But yeah, this is going to be a long video, boys, so strap yourselves in. I'll try and commentate the best I can, but uh, if I just give up halfway through, uh, I'll give up halfway through. <laughs> but no, it should be fine. It should be fine. Talk about life's issues or whatever. I think, did your health go up when you're in critical mode? I can't remember. Maybe I was trying to bait him for something. Oh no, your heat's constantly going up when you're low health. That's what it is. So this is a good uh, sneaky tactic as well. You wait for your heat to go up and then you finish him. I don't know where I'm walking to there. I think my control is a bit bust as well. It's probably a thing. But yeah, stomp away. Get that heat bar up. Run away. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. <laughs> Such a coward's way of fighting Kuze. Oh my god. I just didn't want to lose any more health, to be honest. Not worth it. And he was kicking my ass, so... Nail him with various weapons, run away after stomping twice, yeah, get your heat, grab a weapon, it's just awesome, absolutely awesome, and that is the easiest tactic to beat him at the end anyway, if it gets down to it, hopefully you'll do better than I did in general, but, you know, I think this was first time, so I didn't know who I was going to fight and what was going on. A lot of the times it's like that on the, the boss rushes. You don't know what's coming. You just have to prepare for the worst. And that guy was just in the actual fight zone there. The golden dude. wonder if you can just hit him and that'll be it. <gasps> oh, that was terrible, man. Terrible. But yeah, risky when you're trying that strat, so watch out. Should be finished. He's missed him. And he's got him. Lovely. So that's the end of the first one. Ten minutes in. Ultimate Battle 2 is Majima. Now Majima's ones are so much easier. It's not even funny. So for certain bosses I use Slugger. For certain bosses I use Breaker. Uh, because the breakdancing is just unreal. For this guy it's definitely Slugger. And you're going to want to do the triple X Y combo. And just keep it going. Because he just seems to either block or get sucked into it. So you just get free damage basically. He'll do minimal damage at best. If you manage to get off a finisher do so. And get the reverse overhand hit. On the floor if you can. So yeah. Really easy tactic to get through this guy. He's a uh, bit of a pushover. Is that the, uh, that's the waitress from Earth Angel isn't it? <laughs> What? Never even noticed that before. Just a random thing. 
Did they just put random characters in there? That is so bizarre. But yeah, the only problem with Slugger is obviously hitting the walls, so be very careful of that. Oh, nice. That kick move is an equalizer as well, so it's good. He's just called the Massive Man. He's just massive. <laughs> He's about five foot seven, the same as Majim. He's not particularly massive. Got a relatively big build, like, but wouldn't say massive. Above average for sure. Not mad. But yeah, same tactic all the way through. You'll save yourself a lot of damage uh, taken. I think, is it Arashi? Not Arashi. Oh, I can't remember the names on this game. We'll find out anyway in about a minute when we finish this douchebag off. Two, three, bam, 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 bam. Lovely. Oh, he got us with that move, but we got him back. Finish him off. One, two, three. I think you can loop that move as well. If you get him in the corner, you can stick him in the corner and that's it. He's not getting out of it. Kaboom! Job done. Right, that's number one done. Who's the next fight? Because, like, they're really easy with the breaker styles. Yes. Here he is, Captain Insano. What's his name? Nishitani. I couldn't remember his name. So what you want to do is run away. Not literally run away, but like aim away from the character, the enemy. Dodge whatever moves he comes in with at the end. And then try and do the move where you... I think it's triple X, Y again. But you'll see it when he hits the ground, start mashing Y. And then just get him on the ground and spin around him and get the finisher in as well. It does just preposterous damage. And then just keep looping that as much as you can really is the best way to deal with these fights in terms of efficiency and damage and stuff it's it's just the best move in the game by a country mile use it in so many places it's it's just ridiculous look at how much damage that does it's like a one and a half health bars or something each time but yeah if you nail him you nail him and that's the way to do it right so that's him done who's next on that shopping block is it going to be Sarah? It is Sarah. I dislike this boss fight in the actual campaign, but he's not actually that bad if you follow this strat. If I do it properly on this fight, maybe. Hopefully I will. But yeah, I'd first of all recommend uh, learning his moves because he does like a various sort of switch of moves. So like, he might throw a one bomb, he might throw a four combo, he might do a two combo. Uh, he might do a grab. So watch out for that. If you go for him he sometimes dodges to the side and kicks your leg like a little bitch and it's really annoying uh, but strat really is to I think it might be XXY or, or triple XY again I think it might be XXY but I think I'm baiting him in to do a move I don't know why I know why, because I've not got any <laughs> heals to use, that's why. Oh, there he goes again, that was terrible. So do not do that, whatever I just did. So there's his four combo, and then you can hit him. Ah, yes, yeah, so it is triple XY, okay. He will get in a few hits, but it won't be anywhere near as much as it's doing to him. So if you can just bait in his move... Keep your distance so that you can like do the finishing move. Go over, slap him whilst he's down a couple of times. Dodge back, goes for his move, and then you strike with a triple, and then bam, 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 bam. That makes sense. So once that's done, dodge away, finishing move, onto the ground. It's not like you don't do no damage or anything like that, but it's definitely probably the easiest way I can think of. It's what I came up with anyway. Three, four, attack. There you go. Lovely. So, just keep doing that, honestly. It's, if you spin with him, you might be able to get away. Then just bait in his move. Keep a decent distance. Get the finisher off. Bam, bam. And this is literally what I do for uh, most of the uh, thingy-mabobs. 
I think Breaker Style could be useful, but I don't know if it works against Sarah that well. I think I tried it once and he was doing that kick move constantly. So it wasn't working, basically. But yeah. So we've lost about, what, like half health max on this. And we did lose a lot of health off one of his moves because he got behind us. So you don't really lose that much HP doing this tactic. Wait for the four strike. Bam, bam, bam. He's going to switch to the side. He's going to attack you, but he's getting hit more. Get out of there. Stand still for the finish. Boom. Knock him to the ground. Go over. Slap him on the ground again. And that'll be that. One, two. Don't go for him when he does the one, two. Well, you can do, I suppose. But make sure you can, you're can you hitting him, essentially. And that's the end of that one. So on to Ultimate Battle 3. So this gets a bit harder now, technically. Because they're adding more enemies to the fights, I guess, and different enemies. Personally, I just wail on him. Uh, Nishitani, just kick the shit out of him. Um, <laughs> in brawler style as well, it's not even like uh, beast style, it's just running in and just combo him. Just combo him against the wall, get him in the corner, and just beat him. Beat him like a rented mule. Take a quick sip of beer. There we go. Kick to the face. Try and mix up your heat actions as well because obviously it does more damage for the first time and not the second time. Counter hits, always useful. Especially when he's dodging around like a maniac. But yeah, counter hits are the way to go. The fourth hit where he does the backhand downwards is, is really useful. Uh, but mix up your combos as well sometimes. It throws off the AI a bit. And they stop blocking as much as they usually would. So they might not be expecting, you know, an XXY over an XXXXY. But yeah. Ugh, Jesus. Tired. Apologies. So that's him down. Not really a tricky fight. And then you move on to the next one, which is the massive man all over again. But as give you a chat. And I'm going for uh, some brawler action here. Absolutely hammer him down. Just don't let him breathe, basically. Just do not let him breathe. Just constantly on him. Counter hits. Everything hits. I think you get a health sort of boost after everything. After every round. So don't be too cautious with your health. Uh, but obviously if you're getting wailed on, it's not going to be great. But yeah, just bash him to the ground. Stomp on him gets up and then you just relentlessly assault him again and obviously that fourth hit breaks the guard and then you can do the five hit you can kick him on the ground and do all kinds of finishes but yeah we're uh, not that far through the video <laughs> there's still plenty more to come boys I think it's Sarah that takes up the most time on these videos. So he's up like five minutes on his own. Just the swine. I don't think he's as bad with Kiryu, to be honest. I think Kiryu's got a better chance against him. Oh, he didn't expect that. Straight in with the grab. He was trying to space him, but he was having none of it. He was having none of it, so I did him in with a headbutt. Dodges that. Equalizer. With the counter of his own. Grabs him. Smashes his head off the wall, misses the QTE, unfortunately. Goes in again, tries the dodge smash. It's kicked. Oh, he's countering us now. This is where you don't want to trade. But he's doing it anyway. He's doing it anyway. But you do massive damage with like the four hit combos, the five hit combos. So, really is quite useful. So, yeah, you've got like health that's just above and beyond the actual health bar. So, make use of it. Obviously, I was <laughs> just, just getting in a brawl with this guy. Did not want to relinquish any control to him. This is probably not the best strat, but there you go. It was certainly something. Aggressive play. Aggressive ass kicking. Right, here he is, Mr. Awano. I think it is. Yes, it is. Beast mode. Grab everything. Smack him with it. Not the ashtray, though. The ashtray was a mistake. But the rest of it 
<laughs> is correct. So run over to the weapons. In the booths. Chairs especially. And start swinging with those tables. Whatever's gonna knock him down. Give him a good finisher. Repeat process ad nauseum until he's finished. It does a lot of damage as well. Beast mode is ruthless on these, I'm telling you. If you can do beast mode without taking too much damage or getting surrounded or anything like that, it's it's ruthless. Absolutely ruthless. Kawano is down oh. But yeah, your your heat mode's pretty essential for this. Watch out for his crazy overhand right. Could have done some serious damage if it connected. You can like get him locked in the uh, in the booth pretty much and just spam the weapons if you're lucky. Uh, but other than that, relatively easy boss. Can't go wrong. Well, you can go wrong, but when you know what to do, you can't go wrong. Surely. I'm thinking a beast style against this guy, and I thought correctly. <laughs> So a one, two, three, rush. One, two, three, rush. Counter hits. You can get finishes off as well. Absolutely mauls through his health bar. Beast style is a ruthless with heat. I'm telling you now. Just keep at it. Just relentlessly assault. It's crazy. So on to the next one. Ultimate Battle 4. You're against Kuze. Uh, I would break her. I would always break her, Kuze. Always. Because it just knocks him down. Once they're down, they literally can't do anything. It's quite harsh, but it is what it is. So run away. Triple X. Once he's on the ground, tap Y. And then you should do that move. Just practice that move in general. Uh, it'll get you through most of the game. Even if you suck at the game. Because <laughs> I suck at the game and I got me through everything. So <laughs> Pretty much. That's how we do. Cheese it. Spin to win, spin to win, a bit like Ninja Garden, spin to win, that's all you need, that's all you need to win boys, spin and win, get the Luna out, attack him with the Luna, I know but this one is like uh, loads of different Kuzes against Majima so it's just perfect for uh, Breaker style, it doesn't matter which mode he's in, he might block like loads of it but he ain't gonna block all of it and that's where the damage comes in. If you relentlessly assault him like that and he can't move, then he, he's got no way of doing damage to you, so there's no worries in that situation, is there? Oh, he got us in the back, but you've got your counter spin as well, so keep that in mind. Once you go down, if you tap, I think it's Y, he'll do a counter spin. And yeah, that does horrific damage, doesn't it? But yeah, another one. Keep rolling, 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 rolling. There you go. Now he's down again. Oh, what? That was bullshit. He shouldn't have been able to block that. But if he's changed it up, you might want to switch to Slugger or something and uh, just finish him off with a heat action. But nah, he's, he's down now. So that works the whole way through. I wouldn't worry about if he's in heat or not. So, good move. Good move. On to the next one. The stupid loading screen, which I didn't take out. After all that editing. Terrible. Um, but yeah. Next fight is the relatively dangerous one where he's in the streets. But again, same tactic, same issue. He just does more damage basically if he hits you. He's got more crazy combos with his knuckle dusters. So, straight into Breaker. Breaker away from him and then back into him. Spin around, slap him on the ground. Really quite simple tactics. I think anyone could do this, to be honest. Maybe a little bit of practice, just to get used to it. And then I think anyone literally could do this. <laughs> oh, that was another thing as well. He took out Pachinko on Yakuza 4 and 5 Remastered. I was fuming. I think it was Yakuza 4 where you, like, you, could, uh, you only needed like 500 points, so that wasn't too bad. But then on Yakuza 5, you needed 7,777 points, which was ridiculously hard. Like, I, I can't remember. It took me like a full day to do it. It was just ridiculous. My RNG was terrible. Uh, a good breaker move that you learn off Areshi actually here, when you're in between two people. Get rid of the jobbers. 
Um, but yeah, same same strat. Breaker away. Get him in the corner. He ain't going nowhere. He ain't going nowhere, boys. But yeah, if if you can, don't use your heat. But if you need to, feel free to. You know, you're gonna get plenty of it. Um, from just doing the crazy move. I don't even know what it's called. We we'll call it Rolling Thunder. I don't think it is Rolling Thunder, but we're gonna call it Rolling Thunder. Maybe we should just name that from the start. Rolling Thunder. But yeah, apparently on PC um, and not on console. So I've gone through all this pachinko bullshit and everyone else who's on PC doesn't have to suffer, apparently. So I feel like there should be like a penalty instead, like you don't get a full platinum. Instead you get like three quarters of a platinum. Unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. Absolutely livid. But never mind. Let's keep going. Nearly done with Kuze's rampant rampage, whatever's going on. We're over halfway through, boys. Let's keep it going. Let's keep the motivation high. We got this. But yeah, honestly, if there's any questions or anything, just drop me a comment. I've tried to answer plenty of people's questions in the past. We've had quite a lot of success stories. Uh, people that have been commenting and, you know, we get through to, to the bottom of it. But one of the people that did comment on it was uh, a guy on PC saying... Why can't I play Pachinko? <laughs> I was like, I have no idea, mate. Why, why can't you play Pachinko? I just walked through the door and played it. And then only to realise that uh, I went on Google, typed it in. PC players get away with it. But yeah, like the other success stories, you know, there's, there's plenty of people that have asked random questions. It's always nice to get random questions on your videos. Uh, and then just answer them and... Hopefully you can. I usually direct them to Cyric Z as well because Cyric Z's guides are phenomenal for, for all the games. So definitely check him out. He's he's great. He does great guides. Uh, but they're not visual, which is the only issue for some people. Uh, I think some people don't like reading. Even though his guides are really concise and perfect, they don't like reading. So <laughs> it's seeing it visually, having someone chat shit on top of it, you know, it's, it sometimes works. Uh, but yeah, people have different preferences on what guides are and such. It's like making these guides honestly is so difficult um, And it's not because the difficult Games or whatever it's because every like trophy is so long like you can tell people the basics Or whatever, but if you wanted to go into like proper depth on the trophies every video would be like 20 minutes long And it's just like nah, I'm not doing that <laughs> I'll just send you to Cyrix Z's or just ask me a question in the comments and I'll answer it for you. But most like most people generally know what they're doing to a degree on the game. Like you don't generally get super beginners trying to 100 percent this game. Unless they get further into it and they enjoy it. So by that point they know the combat. And they know like what to expect in terms of minigames and that. And obviously seeing someone else do minigames really does help because you know, you're visualising what to do rather than just being told, like, I'll oh, just shoot over there, shoot over there. There was a guy that commented on my, uh, I can't remember, was it Box Elios or Gun Ryan or something video? He was like, oh, so your best advice is just to shoot and aim well. It's like, well, yeah, that's that's, that's the whole point of the game. Like, <laughs> that's the whole point, you jackass, but... Like, seeing it visually, you can see what I mean. Like, you stay in the centre and you shoot all around, learn the patterns where they come from and then that way you won't be struggling when you, you're like losing on it but like there's people that are willing to learn and then there's just people that come in to have a good moan so the people that come in and moan I just give it straight back to them, I don't care like if you give me shit I'm gonna give it you back but if you ask a question I'll answer it and try and help you you know it's, <laughs> it's pretty simple but you know some people don't get it some people's egos just can't handle it. Yeah, if you if you come into a video for help, I am all ears. I will try and help you. And it's like most of these games are very similar as well. So if you've done one, you've pretty much done them all. Um, apart from the combat, I mean, in in zero, the combat's pretty different to all of them. Um, 
maybe Yakuza 4, I think it was quite similar. Kiwami 1 was a fair amount different. And then Kiwami 2 was just ridiculously different. Like, it made no sense. That dragon engine is just horrible. And 6 is the same as Kiwami 2. 5 was alright, I think. 5 wasn't too bad. 3 was just bizarre. Like, I, <laughs> I don't know what they were trying on that, but like, a lot of people in the community are saying, like, uh, they love 3, they think 3's got the best combat and all this and that, and I'm just like, nah. Zero for me all day long, because it's just so flexible, it's so fun. Like, you can do whatever you want here, you can cheese it, you can do this and that. You do a lot of damage as well. You take a lot of damage, but you do a lot of damage, so... It's a, it's a healthy, fun medium, whereas 3, it's not hard. It, like, people say it's hard, it's not hard at all, it's just, you have to hit the person a million more times <laughs> just to do any damage and the heat actions feel like you're hitting them with a pillow so it just it just infuriates me really after playing a game like this and then doing no damage like it's just it's not fun it just saps the fun out of it because especially against bosses like just absolute jobbers like you're fighting them for a good five ten minutes and it's just like why <laughs> this fight should have been over i've done like eight finishes on him and he's still just Happy as Larry. Hitting the snake guy with the chairs for 20 minutes. Because you're doing chip damage to him. It's like a Souls boss or something. Crazy. But yeah, Sarah here. We're going back to the old tactic. Bait the 4 hit. Come in for the triple uh, X and then Y. Y, Y, Y. Just keep following him around and get the full combo off. You're going to take damage. Don't worry about it. It's just is what it is, but you will do a lot of damage in the process. Hopefully you won't be out of range like that, which is annoying. Sometimes I just get angry and start trading with him, which <laughs> is not a good idea. But yeah, the finisher afterwards, do a fair bit of damage with that. Knock him down. Also, if you... Nah, I think you can leave it as that, like... I was going to say you could switch to different weapons, uh, or try and get different finishes on him, but... There's no point really. Like I think I think this is the strong tactic that I think will help most people that can't fight Sarah. Like this is really simple stuff. You just step backwards and then finish her and then triple X Y after he's done his four hit combo. And his hits aren't very wide reaching like that. Bit of dodging. Boom boom boom. Makes it an easy game. Yeah, I really do. I really do love these games. It's been a long, well, I don't know how long it took. Maybe like a year or something to complete all seven of them. Uh, I was doing various different things, obviously, at the same time. I wasn't just playing these ones. But I did do them in a row, uh, a few of them. And that really burns you out, like, on the series. But the stories in all of them, I think, are phenomenal. I think um, the combat in most of them is pretty goddamn good. A lot of variety. There's a lot of zaniness, which I love. It's like very Japanese craziness. It's just beautiful. Um, and then obviously the mini games. Some are good, some are infuriating. But uh, we do what we can. But yeah, stick to the breaker tactic here. It's pretty much the best thing to do. So the next one as well. Uh, I think. Well. I think Kuze, I don't know how many fights are left in this one, I don't think there's that many. Maybe there's one or two more in this particular section. But as you can see, I'm not. I'm pretty much at full health. Um, <laughs> which is just silly really. At this far through a gauntlet. And I've not been doing anything particularly skillful, so... If this really does help you, I'm, I'm happy for you. If it doesn't, then... Uh, you know, drop me a comment saying where you think it could improve, or... Where you're struggling and you might need help or whatever, I'm happy to uh, have discourse about that. But yeah, it's uh, it's a weird one, YouTube. Like you, see, you get some people that are, you know, look actively looking for help and you know into the game and really enjoy it, doing the same things you do. And then there's other people that just either can't physically do it and complain or just go, you know, trolling or whatever, which I don't really care about because trolling's hilarious, but. It just seems bizarre to me <laughs> that you'd waste your time doing it on a randoms video that's getting like no views. It just seems very strange. 
But yeah, that's uh, Nishiki down. I think there's one more now. Maybe two? No, there's probably quite a few more. Jesus Christ. But we're burning through them so quickly, it's... Uh, it's crazy. But yeah, just stick with Breaker Style, you'll, you'll finish them relatively quickly. But yeah, do practice uh, on the actual game. On the campaign mode, sort of the story mode. Doing that move. Just get it, like, down to a T. And once it's, like, perfectly mastered, all you have to do is just execute it every single time. And there's, <laughs> there's no real skill to it at that point. I mean, you've got the counter as well on the ground, which so even if it goes wrong, you can still do damage to these people, which is cool. Uh, but yeah, Kashiwagi can be really, really dangerous uh, with some of his moves, but once you know how to beat him, it's like, nah, he's easy. Because you've got Breaker and then you've got B-Star with Kiryu, so B-Star just rinses him. It rinses most of the bosses, to be honest. I didn't realise how powerful it was till the end. I've also done this game twice, 100%. Uh, the second time was the recording one, but I had a massive break between it. So I kind of forgot most of it, but uh, it was alright. It was it was a good experience. It wasn't as hard the second time, obviously, with the mini games and stuff. I uh, did them relatively quickly, like 5 million points and stuff like that. Wasn't too bad. Uh, but this one, Shiba Sour, again, you want to go for the break tactic here. I think he can't handle it. Well, if he hits you, he can, but <laughs> you want to dash away, aim away, and then come back in on him. That's the uh, the general tactic for this, I think. Just get away, get the combo going, and there you go. Down the health he goes. Yeah, any comments, any, you know, anything you want to say, feel free. Um... What else is there? Yeah, if you want to check me out on Twitch or whatever, that would be much appreciated as well. I don't really promote my Twitch on here other than in the intro. But, uh, I stream, well, depending on whether I'm working or not, I stream. Um, but I've got a permanent job coming up soon, so I won't be streaming much. Other than the weekends, I do, uh, British time in the morning to the afternoon, basically. I'll have a break for lunch. Uh, but I'll do a good, you know, five, six hours. Currently playing Last of Us. Uh, we've been playing Resident Evil a lot. We've played a multitude of Resident Evils. Which I'm not a fan of those games, but... Essentially... The... I think it was Resident Evil 2 Remake we played recently, and that was phenomenal. I was surprised they even enjoyed it, but it was a really, really good game. So, definitely recommend that. Uh, I've been playing Ninja Gaiden... Uh, Sigma, Sigma 2, played Ninja Gaiden 2 as well, platinumed all them, which was crazy. Uh, that took a long time, it was brutal. And yeah, it was, I've played a lot of games recently, it's, it's crazy. But I've not played anything offline um, for myself, because I've been trying to do these videos, but there's just so goddamn many of them. I think Kiwami 1 will be shorter, and Kiwami 2 is definitely a lot shorter than the other two, so... Hopefully I'll manage to get them out a bit quicker. Uh, hopefully I won't be too burned out doing them. But doing the commentary and stuff like this is... You know, it's 50 minutes of commentary. Even though I don't edit it or whatever, it's still... 50 minutes, and if it does go wrong, then I have to sort of restart it or... Cut bits out or whatnot. Um, but yeah, it's... It's a weird one, like, I don't know if people think I'm doing this for money or whatever like <laughs> I don't I don't earn any money off it I'm just literally trying to help people with the uh, with the game because I know how much of a pain it can be trying to finish these games getting platinums it's like Kingdom Hearts as well I think Kingdom Hearts is going to be my next project uh, doing 100% on but I've already done 100% on f five of the games or six of the games can't remember how many it was quite a lot but I'm going to record them this time do them uh, and try and Help people do that and see if that uh, picks up some traction that'll be nice and the views I've been getting on some of these videos have been really good which is nice to see but yeah if, uh, if it builds up a bit I'd be happy if not you know I mean some of the some of the videos I do are absolute trash uh, I'll admit that <laughs> because there's just not much to say generally like a lot of these 
trophies, you already know, really. And like, if it's the telephone cards or something like that, I'm not doing every single telephone card on video. Because I will have been playing the game, not specifically doing that. I will have just been roaming around in the missions and then stumble across them. And I'm not going back through hundreds of hours of footage for that. So, I do link you to Cyric Z, obviously, who gives you a written description where everything is. And it's perfectly fine because you got a map on his guide and you've got a written description. Like, there's no need for a video on that, basically. But for a mini game, it's completely different. Like, for, you know, pool or whatever. And I, I leave stuff in for, like, the completion things and just make a quick mention of them or whatever. I try and keep them short, like, two minutes or whatever. Uh, just to mention them, basically. Obviously, Cyrix Z's. <laughs> like the one of the best guides to go to in these games, so be sure to check them out if you're ever struggling with any of the games. But yeah, beast mode, honestly, it's ridiculous on this game. The only issue with beast mode for me is when you accidentally press L1, and then you get stuck in that blocking routine. It's just ridiculous, and then you pick up the ashtray accidentally. But yeah, you do fair amount. This is what I mean, because you're so used to blocking. Like, you know when you're in other styles, like in brawler style, if you're starting to get hit, you'll put your guard up. But when you're like that, you just block and nothing happens. It's just, it's just ridiculous. But, uh, yeah, Kiryu's got his own gauntlet here. Shouldn't be too tricky. Um, <laughs> just slap shit out of him there for no reason. I don't know why I switched to brawler here. I don't know if uh thing you would have been better, but... You know, get some good combos off to get your finishes off. Try and finish each round with a bit of heat as well. That's a good thing to mention. Because uh, you want to switch into beast mode or whatever with a load of heat. That'll be good. That's a, that's a useful tip there. That I didn't think about, actually. I don't know if, you, if I even do it myself, but it would be a good idea to finish the round with some heat. Because with beast mode, if you've got heat, you don't take, uh, like stun damage basically so that'd be really useful but yeah always remember with beast mode as well you've got the counter and you've got uh, reversal I think as well so definitely worth doing uh, it'll be interesting to see what I do against Sarah this time do I stick with Brawler? I think I do yeah same tactic as last time apparently get the finisher off stomp stomp dodge four try and get a four hit combo Or a 5 hit, there we go. Just trying it. Oh, I'm just going for the constant attack, yeah. Okay. That seems to work, you know. That that, that really does seem to work. I'll, I'll give it to myself there. Just be very aggressive with Kiryu. You will take damage, but... And make sure you're doing the counter attack as well. You can dodge behind him if you want. It's a quick strat. Quick and painful. <laughs> he gets behind you, though. He's a bit of a nightmare. Obviously, finishing off the... Ooh, nice. Finishing off the combos with the Y button, uh, always the Y button does the, mo the most damage, so. Ooh, he tried it, he tried the Tiger Drop. Don't know what it's called in this game, but it's basically the Tiger Drop. Boom, down he goes. So aggressive fighting there with Brawler can work. I don't, I'm not sure about B-Style there, I don't know if it's worth it. But I guess we'll find out in the future if someone else does those kinds of videos. I'm sure there's plenty of people that have. Uh, but yeah, beast star for this all the way. What? What happened to that? That was bullshit, man. Seriously. You just, like, I don't even know what happened to the couch. <laughs> it just pinged off for no reason. That was rubbish. But yeah, take this man down. It does so much damage, man. So much damage when you're on full heat in beast mode. Really is OP as hell, so... Be sure to utilize it. I can't say it enough. I've only got five minutes left, boys. If you stuck with me through this video, I appreciate it. I've done some uh, bit of tangent uh, commentary here. Because obviously the fights are pretty much the same as you go through. But uh, yeah, if you let me know like which one's your favorite and stuff. I always enjoy people coming in telling me why different ones are the favorite. Some guy came in the other day saying... Yakuza 6 was his favourite, and I was just like, what? <laughs> Why? And then he uh, he went on to say, oh, it's the uh, you know the story and stuff like that. I was like, oh, fair enough, you know. 
Well, it's, it's, it's good that you like it. Because <laughs> for me, it's zero all the way. Like, story, gameplay, all of it. I think it's because it was my first one. Uh, it just it blew everything else out of the water, to be honest. In terms of uh, having fun, so... I don't know, I just resonated with the storyline, like the Yakuza stuff, it just, it, it makes sense to me. <laughs> it's just weird. But yeah, um, it's an enjoyable game, like, I'd, I'd recommend anyone play this, uh, it's, it's quite accessible to anyone, there is easy mode and stuff like that. Um, even if you don't do all the sub-stories and stuff like that, there's still, there's plenty of content there. Uh, but the actual game itself, if you just go through the missions, you know, you're looking at 20 hours or something, if that. If you're skipping cutscenes as well, that's way less, but... Um, yeah, well, maybe with cutscenes it's probably a lot more than that. <laughs> probably just made that up, but yeah. Yeah, I'm going to do a, a legend guide as well. Um, basically just showing bosses and stuff. I mean, it's not going to be... It's going to be like chapters 1 to 9 or something, and then chapters 9 to... Uh, 20 or something like that. However many chapters are in there, I can't remember. But yeah, it's. I think I skipped like chapter 14 as well. I was looking, I was going through it, editing, and it was just like, oh, now it's chapter 18 or something. Like, what? <laughs> where's, where's the footage gone? I hate that when that happens. Like, you accidentally delete it or something, and I'm not going back through to do that again. You know, it's, it's a shame, but it is what it is. It's so weird how, like, you fight in the campaign compared to how you fight in the climax battles. It's just completely different for me. And maybe I should have gone beast mode against everything in the game, because it seems so OP. It really does. Yeah, it's been, uh, it's been a pleasure chatting on for 50 odd minutes, or 50 minutes. Let me know if you got any comments in the comments section. Any support is appreciated on my YouTube, my Twitch. Um, I do have a Streamlabs for donations and stuff <laughs> if anyone wants to do that, but do not feel obliged to do any of that. Obviously YouTube's a free service and uh, if you do manage to get up to a certain threshold with YouTube, you uh, do start earning money off advertisements and stuff, so that's nice, but we're nowhere near that section yet. Although we were relatively near the watch hours, um, it was just the we need a thousand subscribers, which we're nowhere near. But you know, it's not an easy game unless you're making fake videos about fucking random lies or something. I don't know, like things that get the kids' attention. You know, with stupid thumbnails and ridiculous chatting videos about absolutely nothing. I don't know if you... Oh, that's a cool move, the bear hug there. Didn't even know that was possible. Going for two finishes now. Cashy Waggy's getting it. Getting it big style. But yeah. Uh, like, it's it's a weird one, YouTube, for me. Because, like, you, you could throw on a video, which you've put, you know, two hours into or whatever. You could edit it perfectly. You could make it, you know, really informative, really good. And then you could throw something up that's, you know five minutes long it's a pile of shit video and it'll get a million views or whatever it's just like what what is the point <laughs> i'm only doing these to help people with this game like if you don't like the videos you don't like them but if you do i appreciate it but yeah i wouldn't i wouldn't spend 50 minutes watching a video if you didn't like it so <laughs> if you get this far though congratulations climax battle's done gg i'll see you next time have a great rest of the day or whatever you're doing. And yeah, any comments would be appreciated. Peace out. Take care. Kick some ass. I think I actually get the platinum on this, possibly. So that'll be a nice little achievement popping up if you see it. Just beat it as well. Awesome. But yeah, take care everyone. Peace out.